how to check whether your polymer latex binder meets the specification. I'm Arthur, technical director at an independent paint lab and today I will show you how to get through the quality control of polymer latex binders for waterborne paints. Polymer latex dispersions are binders that are supplied with characteristics of three typical specification parameters viscosity, pH and solids content. With delivery you receive a specification which sometimes requires checking, in particular when you have doubts about the delivery. Therefore, control tests must be fast and reliable. First of all, take care about collecting sample. If you receive delivery in an IBC or tanker, use samplers to collect a sample from a specified depth. Use ASTM procedures to ensure a representative sample is collected. Bring the sample to the temperature at which viscosity and pH will be measured as any temperature fluctuations affect the result. The usual temperature in the specification is 23 degrees Celsius. Start by determination of solids content. During this time your sample will be reached the desired temperature. For this purpose, use a moisture analyzer in which you can determine solids content in 15 minutes. Remember to spread the sample carefully and use a program that allows the water to evaporate completely. Meantime, determine the viscosity using viscometer. For higher viscosity, use a standard Brookfield viscometer, but when your polymer latex is low viscosity, use an L-type viscometer. In both cases, determine the viscosity using the same spindles as in the specification or quality control procedure. Finally, measure the pH. For this purpose, use the pH meter equipped with an electrode suitable for measuring the pH of polymers and materials with moderate viscosity. Remember to calibrate the electrode beforehand. It's good if you use smart electrodes to be sure that they have calibrated well and are fully useful for measurements. Perform pH measurement on the sample. After measurement, sample should be disposed of. The reason is that the sample is contaminated with the electrode solution during measurement. If your sample meets the specification, you can accept it for your production. If not, please contact your supplier. If you need any external support or advice regarding to raw materials, formulations or tests, please contact me directly. Thank you for watching this educational video and see you in the next one. And don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel.